What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Ju, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. I'm actually at work on my lunch break. Um, I've been very busy. I just started a new job. Um, also, my wife is expecting our second child. So I've been really, really busy. Um, but I did want to go ahead and do a video uh, really quick while I'm on my lunch break. Talk and chop some things up with you guys. First, I want to thank everybody for continuing to subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 300 subscribers, so shout out to you guys. We're at like 275 subscribers currently, so I appreciate all of you guys. Let's get to that illustrious number of 1,000 subscribers. Um, maybe I'll do a giveaway or something once we get to 1,000 subscribers. Who knows, but I definitely appreciate all of you guys continuing to subscribe and share out my content. Um, let's continue to make this one of the biggest Atlanta Falcons channel. I'm going to continue to bring you the best Atlanta Falcons content out there. But I do appreciate all of you guys. Appreciate all the other YouTubers that support our Atlanta Falcons and the Brotherhood. Um, but let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Um, as always, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for your boy. Hit that notification bell for your boy. Um, so you'll know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content. I definitely appreciate that and appreciate you guys. Um, but let's talk a little bit uh, about a little bit of Atlanta Falcons news. Uh, a couple days ago, Adrian Claiborne, uh, the former Atlanta Falcons defensive end, did sign with the Cleveland Browns. So he's the second Atlanta Falcon that signed with the Cleveland Browns because, you know, Austin Hooper on um, the first week of free agency signed with the Cleveland, uh, Cleveland Browns. So it seems like they like our Atlanta Falcons players, just like the Arizona Cardinals seem to like picking up our Atlanta Falcons players. But I just want to wish uh, Adrian Claiborne a happy trails um, on his future endeavors. He has been a longtime Atlanta Falcon on and off. Um, he did play a year uh, in New England. Uh, then he came back to Atlanta. So um, definitely one of my uh, favorite pass rushers that's played with us as a veteran pass rusher. Um, somebody that uh, was a guy that would come in as a glue guy, a veteran type player, a leader in the locker room. Um, I'll never forget the game when he had six sacks against the Dallas Cowboys, the hated Dallas Cowboys, um, on Dak Prescott a couple seasons ago. Um, but big ups to uh, Adrian Claiborne. I wish him nothing but the best with uh, the Cleveland Browns. But also, I wanted to talk a little bit about the NFL draft currently. Um, Yesterday on Twitter, I put out my top three prospects at that number 16 pick for the upcoming NFL draft in a couple weeks. Um, number one on my list was um, Derek Brown out of the University of Auburn, the defensive tackle. Um, number two on my list was Javon Kinlaw, uh, defensive tackle out of South Carolina University. And my number three prospect uh, was Kayla Von Chason out of the University of LSU. So first thing first, I think the biggest impact impact uh, player that we need because we got Dante Fowler, number one on my list was uh, Caleb on chase on at first because we didn't have an edge rusher at all uh, that we could depend on. But now that we have uh, uh, Dante Fowler um, at the edge rusher position as that premier pass rusher for us, I still believe in Caleb on chase on and I would love to have him at that 16 pick. But I feel like the, the position that we still haven't addressed is that nose tackle position. We must address this nose tackle position to be able to stop the run and to be physical up front, um, to be able to push the pocket. Because now that Tom Brady's in our division and Drew Brees, they're strictly uh, pocket passers. And if you can affect the pocket and make those guys move off their spot, they're not mobile at all. And they're basically like a, a sitting duck. So if we can push that pocket, it'll, it, all it's going to do is create one-on-one -on -one matchups for Dante Fowler. And it's going to create one-on-one -on -one matchups for Tap McKinley and John Kaminsky and Steven Means and all of these guys on the line. And, and also Grady Jarrett. So if we were to get a Derrick Brown or a Javon Kinlaw with that length that they have and that physicality, uh, phys uh, physicality excuse me, that they have... Um, they really could bring a lot to our Atlanta Falcons. And I feel like that's the number one need at this current or present time is getting somebody that can stop the uh, stop the run. So I definitely think that um, we need to bring in with that 16 pick. If we don't uh, get an impact defensive tackle, I would go with a uh, Caleb on chase on. But 
if we do decide to go with a defensive tackle, um, in some of these mock drafts, I do see Derek Brown's name kind of dropping in these mock drafts to like number nine, number eight in the draft because you know it looks like other names are starting to go up the uh, go up the draft boards like quarterbacks and stuff like that. So if Derek Brown is at like number ten or number nine, we may be able to trade up from that sixteen pick and grab Derek Brown at number nine. Um, if we're not able to grab him, I think Javon Kinlaw may be around at uh, seventeen or uh, sixteen. But if he's not around, I would go ahead and take Caleb on Chase on at 16. And then with that second round pick, I would go ahead and grab somebody like a Ross Blacklock or a Raquan Davis out of Alabama. Um, but we definitely need to get one of these long arm, tall, physical uh, defensive tackles to be able to help stop the run and make uh, help Grady Jarrett. Um, you know, the, the free him up so he's not dealing with so many double teams. Because we already know that Grady Jarrett is going to demolish anybody one on one, but in double he also beats double teams. Like last year, he was even beating double teams. But we know if you can man Grady Jarrett up, not only would a number his sack numbers go up, uh, for uh his sack numbers go up, but his also his tackles for loss will go up, kind of like an Aaron Donald. If you have somebody that can eat up space and somebody that can take you know take away those double teams and take up those double teams so Grady Jarrett can get into the backfield and wreak havoc on these quarterbacks that we have. But with that being said, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about with you guys and chop, uh, chop up with you guys. I hope you guys are staying safe out there with this coronavirus and stuff going on, COVID-19. A lot of uh, states are under lockdown and stuff like that. I live in the state of Florida. And the county that I live in uh, is under lockdown for the next 30 days. So, unfortunately, I'm essential personnel, so I have to be at work. But, you know, I, I'm grateful that I have a job. It's a lot of people out here that don't have a job or has recently lost their job due to all of this stuff that's going on with the coronavirus and the COVID-19. So, you guys, make sure you're washing your hands. You're staying hydrated out there. Um, I'm going to holler at you guys. I probably have another video for you guys either tomorrow because I'm off work. Or at some point this weekend, now that I got a three-day weekend, I definitely holler at you guys uh, one day, uh, one day later on this week. But I appreciate you guys continuing to support the channel. As always, uh, hit that subscribe button for your boy. Let's continue to grow this thing. Um, and as always, Falcons Nation, rise up, peace and love. And always, um, as I always say, stay prayed up out there. All right, man, love you guys. All right, peace.